Hello everyone. In this class, we are going to see force and pressure. First, let's start with force. What is force? We are pushing an object or pulling an object to make a move. Right? So, without pushing or pulling, that object cannot move. So, that pushes and pulls at an object is called force. And this force cannot be seen, but we can feel and observe the effect of the forces. Right? Next one, net force. What is net force? The total of all the forces applied to an object is called the net force acting on the object. So, what is net force? The total of all the forces applied to an object. For example, I have given three cases. So, first one, if two forces act on a body from the same direction, if two forces, okay, act on a body from the same direction, let's consider this as F1 and F2, two forces act on a body in the same direction, the net force is the sum of the two forces. F1 plus F2. Okay. In the second case, if unbalanced forces acting an object in opposite direction, the net force is the difference between the two forces and is exerted the direction of the larger force. Here, so let's consider this is F1 and this is F2. Here, we can find the net force by subtracting the smaller force from the larger force where F2 is greater than F1. We can find the net force by subtracting F2 minus F1. In the third case, the applied force in the opposite directions are equal. So, the net force is zero. Next one, effect of force on an object. What are the effects can cause to an object by the force? A force can make an object to move from rest. For example, pushing the door, pulling a travel bag along with you as you walk. So, can make an object move from the rest. Second one, force can stop an moving object. Example, by applying the brakes in a bicycle, moving bicycle, it can stop that moving bicycle. Next, you can change the speed of an object if it is moving. See, if you pedal harder while cycling, the cycle moves faster. So, force can change speed of an object if it is moving. Next one. Force can change the direction of moving object. While you are uh, riding bicycle, by applying force to the handlebars, you can turn the direction of cycle. So, force can change the direction of moving object. And the next one, it the force can change the shape of an object. For example, by squeezing and pressing the wet clay, we can make it into different shape. So, a force can change the shape of an object. Types of forces. There are two main types of forces. Contact force, non-contact force. What is contact force? Forces that act on an object by coming in contact with them are called contact force. Then what is non-contact force? Forces that act an object without coming in contact with them are called non-contact force. So, examples for contact force are, are muscular force, frictional force. For non-contact force, gravitational force, magnetic force and electrostatic force. Let's see one by one. First, let's see about contact force. In that first, muscular force. What is muscular force? The force we exert by using our 
मसल इज कॉल्ड मस्कुलर फोर्स एग्जाम्पल वी आर डूइंग और द वेरियस एक्टिविटीज यूजिंग आर मसल्स राइट द पुशिंग एंड पुलिंग और ऑल्सो कम्स इन मस्कुलर फोर्स सेकेंड वन फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स वॉट इज फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स अ फोर्स विच अपोज द मोशन ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट एग्जाम्पल ए बॉल रोलिंग ऑन ग्राउंड ग्रेजुअली स्लोज डाउन एंड कम्स टू रेस्ट ड्यू टू फोर्स ऑफ फ्रिक्शन सो अनदर एग्जाम्पल वी कैन स्टॉप पेडलिंग अ बाईसाइकल बाई अप्लाइंग ब्रेक इट ग्रेजुअली स्लोज डाउन एंड कम्स टू अ स्टॉप ड्यू टू फोर्स ऑफ फ्रिक्शन नेक्स्ट वन नॉन कॉन्टैक्ट फोर्स इन दस फर्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स इज द फोर्स एक्सर्टेड बाय द एयर्थ ऑन ऑल ऑब्जेक्ट्स इट पुल्स ऑल ऑब्जेक्ट्स टुवर्ड्स द एयर्थ एग्जांपल अ कॉइन और पेन फॉल्स डाउन व्हेन इट स्लिप्स ऑफ योर हैंड अ बॉल थ्रोन अपवर्ड फॉल्स डाउन वाटर इन रिवर्स फ्लो downwards these are the examples for gravitational force next one magnetic force a force exerted by magnets that is the force of attraction or repulsion exerted by magnets is called magnetic force a magnetic field is present around the magnets and acts an object at a distance in a magnet like poles that is north north and south south poles repels each other and unlike poles attracts that is south north poles attracts each other next one electrostatic force an electrostatic force is a force exerted by a charged body on another charged body or uncharged body that is Uh, for example, you can run a plastic comb through clean, dry hair repeatedly. Then bring that comb near to the bits of paper. What happened? That paper attracted by that, or that paper attracts towards the comb. This is because electrostatic force that the bits of paper are attracted towards the comb. Here, the electro electrostatic force acts an object at distance. so what is the units of force the si unit of force is newton n also we can use kilogram force 1 kilogram force is equal to 9.8 newton approximately 1 kilogram of force is equal to 10 newton